What is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another Java tutorial and today will be our last actual Java beginner tutorial. If you've watched all my videos from the first one to now, you are successfully a beginner Java programmer for games. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. Um, so these videos were just showing you the basics and this is the last one. Every game needs this. Uh, it is collisions. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and begin here. So if we go ahead and play the game, as you can see, this is where we left off last time, creating as many enemies as we would like. And if you've not seen that, go ahead and click that link in the description. But now what we're going to do is if you collide with them, it's going to display a message down in console here. Now, obviously, you can do whatever you'd like, like health minus equals one uh, and so on. So we can do that. So we're going to be actually using a rectangle to get our uh, collision, uh, get our, our boundings for what is actually being collided. So our, our image is not the one that's going to be detecting the collision. We're going to make a rectangle around our image uh, and then it's going to check if a rectangle and another rectangle, say our enemy rectangle, collide with each other. That's a collision. So we're going to go ahead and go into a player here and we're going to create public rectangle and we're going to say get bounds return new rectangle and now we're going to say x y 32 by 32 because that is our the dimensions of our image here so now all we have to do uh, well this basically creates a rectangle around our player and I can go ahead and actually show you that right here g2d.draw get bounds if we play that um, you can't really see it but well you can kind of see it but obviously the image will right here so if we if we comment out the drawing the actual image here as you can see there's a box or a little yeah a little rectangle here and that's what's going to be detecting the collisions okay so we can actually make that invisible so you don't even see that and bring the image back now we can copy this and paste it back into our enemy. So there we go. And basically that's it. We have made that. Now all we have to do is just check if it's collided. Uh, so we're going to say in our update method for our player, we're going to make a new um, uh, method here, collision. Right? And we actually haven't made this, so we're going to just say public void collision. There we go. And now, uh, we could do this in the update method actually, but we're just going to make a separate uh, method that says collision just because it's it's cleaner. Uh, so now what we need to do actually is in the controller, I forgot one thing here, we actually need to say public linked list enemy uh, get enemy bounds and that returns E there we go now we call this and it's going to return the uh, uh, if you remember in our array list or a link list it sets a value to each one so it's going to return that value for each one so we go to our player here and we're gonna say uh, public or I'm sorry private linked list enemy e equals controller dot get enemy bounds and we have to import the controller here import linked list and you see we get an error here and that's because we actually need to make this static and we get an error here because we actually need to make our linked list static so make sure that your linked list static is static in our controller and that this is static right here in the link list for getting the enemy bounds and that should go away uh, so now what we're going to do is in the collision we're going to just set up a simple for loop for int i equals zero i is less than e dot size i plus plus and now that just again takes how many are in the room and gives the uh, positioning for each one uh, so we're going to say if get bounds dot so this is um, we say get bounds here 
right? Um, and we say dot intersects uh, e dot get i dot get bounds, right? So this is getting our get bounds, so our rectangle, and if it intersects intersects with our our positioning, so our actual again how it gives different attributes. Um, then the it's getting these attributes, which is getting the dot get bounds for our enemy, which is right here. I don't know if that made sense, but now all we have to do is in here say whatever we'd like. Print line uh, collision. So if we play it, and boom, you see down there in the bottom left there. Uh, let me know in the description, or I'm sorry, in the comment section if any of this made sense. Uh, and I can explain a little bit better in there. But go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Uh, next tutorial, we will be starting off our platforming uh, tutorial. So I'll see you later.